You can train exactly like a man does. As a matter of fact, many women, most women even, if they train like everybody else, male or female, they will get results. If they eat and exercise and do all the off the shelf stuff, if they're able to do it, they're gonna get results. The normal female menstrual cycle adjusts throughout the month in terms of the amounts of estrogen and progesterone. Now the way that I like to describe estrogen and progesterone as two twin sisters. Twin sisters, but non-identical. Estrogen is a very resilient, rambunctious, adventurous little girl. Progesterone is more worried, more reserved, more conservative. Here is day one of a menstrual cycle, the first day of menses, the first day of bleeding. During this time, estrogen levels will rise. They will rise and they will peak right around ovulation. You'll get a little bit more of a spike and then they will begin to fall off at menses again. Now progesterone stays pretty flat lined throughout the first two weeks and then it spikes right around ovulation and then comes down. Estrogen dominates in the first two weeks and progesterone dominates in the next two weeks. So this is the time where you do all the training. You can train more. This is the time where I like to say the female athlete thrives here. Your inner female athlete can thrive during this two weeks. This is where you want to push. This is where you want to do interval training. This is where you want to do heavy weight training. This is where you really want to feed the body. I call it eat more and exercise more. Think of yourself as a female warrior and a female athlete. And so here you start to move more towards stress reduction. Now it doesn't mean you can't train, but maybe when you're training here three to seven days per week, here you're only training two to three days per week. Here your body can tolerate more stress and more calories. Here, your body can tolerate less stress and less calories. And one of the best things to do here is that you want to oftentimes decrease carbs for some women. However, for other women who are more vegan or vegetarian oriented, maybe instead of elevating protein and fat, you just elevate fiber here in a very big way. So many more vegetables. And so the body is very, very smart in this regard. And this also tells you how you can take advantage of this. Estrogen and progesterone have receptors all over the body that impact things like sleep and hunger and mood and energy and cravings. And so by understanding what they're doing, you can potentially get better effects as a woman.